Welcome to Shiny Colors Final Classes everyone. This is Rashmi Soni here and today we are going to paint water in watercolor. Water can be different types. It can be a quiet lake, it can be a running river, it can be a flowing waterfall or it can be a sea water with a lot of waves. Each and every type of water needs its own tutorial and I'm going to post different type of water tutorial in my future videos. So if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe my channel and keep the bell icon on so that you will not miss my future videos. In this painting, in this video, I am going to paint this painting and this is a surface of the water and here I'll show you how we can keep the surface water and how we can show the waves in the water and what color you should use to show the reflection of the ship in this painting. So let's start the lesson. So see this is the painting, see how beautiful the painting came. It's a reflection in the sea, the ship reflection and these are the colors I have used. Lemon yellow, cobalt turquoise from Vincent and Newton, cobalt turquoise from uh, Mission Gold, turquoise blue from Mission Gold, cerulean blue from Mission Gold, viridian hue from Mission Gold, burnt sienna from Mission Gold and paints grey from Mission Gold. So if you don't have so many colors, keep seeing my full video, I'll tell you how we can mix these colors with the limited palette with the very few colors and i'll tell you how we can make these colors with the very very basic colors so uh, i'm making the shape i have drawn a very less drawing here and i'm making this is a behind ship one more ship that is there and you can see uh, these weight weights are hanging on the uh, ship so these are also there so i am making a, a first wash for these objects behind ship and the front ship giving a very light wash and, and this is the burnt sienna color very less burnt sienna require very less just for this stripe and little bit I mixed yellow in that burnt sienna and make the upper stripe of this uh, ship. So this is a, a little design on the ship and now I am drawing uh, the tire. So the tire also it uh, has a role in the ship sometime it gives a cushion when it uh, goes for the dock and sometimes it helps while it is needed during the sail and during the journey during the voyage and this is the rope where it is tied with the dock Now for this rope I am applying the masking fluid. So I have that uh, dollar only masking fluid, any uh, company masking fluid is fine. So I am applying that on the rope. Basically this is a plastic paint, when you apply that the color won't come on that particular space where you apply that. So I want to protect that white color and at the same time I don't want that uh, uh, leaving the space because if you leave the space sometime uh, you have to be very careful to make the water and all. So um, I applied the masking fluid and I had given the first wash of my tire. I left the white paper for the sun and that is uh, effect is there on the top of the tire now to make the greenish effect of the 
water I applied that lemon yellow color and now I'm applying the cerulean blue color so I was telling that uh, like I will tell you how you can make those blue turquoise and turquoise blue color if you don't have these colors but at least cerulean blue color you will definitely require to make uh, these colors even if you don't have cerulean blue color also then also I'll tell you what colors you can mix so here I applied the turquoise blue and the cobalt blue cobalt turquoise to give the reflection of that uh, behind shape in case if you don't have these uh, ex exotic colors then what you do you uh, you definitely have the viridian hue any watercolor set if you buy you will definitely get viridian hue color and cobalt blue color so mix viridian uh, take viridian hue and mix little bit cobalt in that and then you can dilute the color you will get the very similar color to cerulean and turquoise blue so you can use that plus you can use the cobalt blue to give the little darker effect so you can just add up some uh, green more to make greenish color and you can make uh, you can mix uh, cobalt blue more to make the bluish color so if you make the uh, if you mix the uh, cobalt more then you will get the cerulean blue color and if you mix the viridian green color then you will get the turquoise blue color so uh, this is a little trick you can uh, apply that and later on i'll tell you how we will get that uh, uh, greenish effect in your uh, reflection so keep seeing the video that uh, the bigger reflection is uh, is little late in the video because we have to make the darker reflection at the end and uh, you know the watercolor painting always starts from the light to dark so first we have to apply all the light colors and then slowly slowly we have to add up the dark values so I am uh, keep adding the values here those small reflections are there uh, in the water little uh, small small uh, uh, waves are there on, and on, in those waves we can see the reflection of the um, of the tire and of the ship is there and because this picture is in the in, uh, daytime so I think the sun is quite up uh, and direct up and that's why we are seeing those beautiful colors every water as I uh, said in the beginning water can be different but at the same time light plays a, a major role to uh, to give those colors so uh, if the same same uh, uh, painting if I make it in the morning time early morning it will give a different color and the same painting if I make in the evening time it will give the different color so now I'm applying uh, the again the turquoise blue a little bit and the yellow color to make the uh, make the surface effect of the uh, of the water so you can see I'm using a thin brush and I am uh, I am applying uh, uh, thin lines kind of thing and those are little wavy to show the uh, surface effect of the water and at the same time see I am uh, making blue and uh, yellow both the colors and I am uh, making the lines making those waves alternate so you can see all the different colors both yellowish and bluish and greenish those lines wavy lines on the surface at the same time uh, when you use yellow it will give you the sun effect also the sun is very bright in this picture so the reference picture that you are seeing uh, on the corner that is actually the finished painting so I am applying now and the cerulean blue color and I'm leaving those waves this light space I'm leaving and I'm filling the wave space 
and you can see how beautiful those waves came so uh, due to the perspective you can see the uh, front waves you can see bigger and as you are going back the waves will be smaller so when you make remember these things also the front waves or the artery uh, waves will be little bigger and as you are moving upward the waves will be smaller and I'm keep applying uh, different different colors especially on the front area I'm applying blue and yellow more and you see on this uh, right, uh, left corner there is more of the yellow color plus I'm making it uh, line up and wavy effect with the blue color So now you see uh, that uh, my painting is fully dry and so let me finish that behind ship it has a very less detail only one weight is there that I have to paint so we will do that and after that we will come back to our front ship. To give that um, little dark effect so that when we erase the uh, masking fluid from this row we can see the rope is white color so that's why I'm making that ship behind ship little more dark one thing um, the, so that the front ship you can see that it is front and uh, the other thing when you uh, uh, erase the masking uh, fluid you can see that uh, the white color is visible so now I'm giving the detailing on the tires so I'm applying the cerulean blue color first why blue color on the uh, on the uh, shine and on the tire because because of the water is all around so uh, the reflected light it comes looks like bluish because of the water now I'm giving the detail and you can see uh, the grooves of the uh, tires are there and I have to make them so the front grooves will look bigger and as we move backward the, the grooves will be smaller so we have to uh, maintain that perspective To show that sun more bright, we have to make the shadows more dark. So I am using now the grey color, paints grey mixed, the grey in the blue, so that you can uh, cerulean blue. And as I said, if you don't have uh, the cerulean blue, you can just mix viridian green and cobalt blue and you will get the same color. I'm giving the detailing and the depth and the tire because tire also has two layer the back side and, and in the in the between you can see a depth a very dark color as I am moving I am making it dark you can see the rope is also more prominent now so 
So I'm giving the minor details on the tire. I'm using my uh, zero number Escoda brush, Escoda Rigger brush and uh, this brush is very very good and in case if you don't have that much thin brush, any thin brush you have at home, what you can do, you can cut some of the hair so it will be very thin. So for these, these detailing, you need very thin brush. So if you uh, don't have the brush available in the home, you can cut a brush, a small brush you can cut and you will um, get this color, this type of brush. Because uh, in the beginning I also used to do that and it works really well when you uh, cut a brush. So cut means you should not cut it in the, from the tip, you have to cut some of the uh, brushes from the just base. So when you cut from some of the brushes from the base, you will get uh, you will get a very few brushes are remaining in the brush. So those few brushes will give you a nice and thin brush effect. some finer details and we will get the tire finished. So I'm just making that um, outline of the ship a little more bright and when you make the outline, the outline should not, should not look like a very liner and very prominent outline. So you have to make the outline very um, uh, precise here and there, broken somewhere like that. Again, I'm using a very thin brush and uh, that is a zero number brush. This is a very uh, general brush, okay. It's not very uh, exclusive as Skoda brush. Uh, this you can find anywhere, any stationery shop. This is a very simple and general brush. See how well the tire came, it is looking so beautiful and you can see the uh, sun effect, how beautiful it came on the top. I'm seeing it's all dry now, so I'm giving that final dark effect. So this is Payne's grey, dark. So you remember I had given the blue and then a little more dark, mix blue with grey. Now I'm using only grey and I'm leaving that shine part where the sun is giving the so see on the top 
the sun is given direct light so it is white in color very bright and on the bottom in the middle part the sun is giving reflected light not direct so you can get little bluish effect see how beautiful the tire came now we have to move on to the bigger shell so i am mixing the cerulean blue color with my yellow so similar way if you don't have cerulean as i said you can mix little yellow color lemon yellow color in the cobalt blue and uh, to get it to get the color more accurate what you can do you if you have chinese white color in your set mix little white color in your set so that uh, cobalt blue effect will ju just reduce and you will get a very nice bluish color so i i mixed yellow in my uh, blue turquoise see and i'm giving the the reflection that ship reflection in the water little bit small small waves are there see i'm using yellow color and then the blue and when you make this reflection you can see the gradation of the color so see i did not make all one color reflection you see i started with blue then yellow then blue then yellow then again blue so that gradation is very important because in the water there are lot of turbulence and you can't see only one color throughout the reflection and see now my surface is wet and i am using little little thick colors so it is because of the thickness of the color it is not spreading but looks like it is little dried and this is the tire reflection round round in the bottom that also we have to make and there are some waves because water is not a still it has lot of happening on the surface and i'm giving some of the dark color effect and my uh, you can see my paper is still wet and that's why you can see the edges are very soft they are not hard and you can see such a beautiful watery effect on the painting now i'm peeling the masking fluid masking fluid that was already dried here and i am making the line little more prominent making the uh, surrounding of this row is little dark and actually ma matching the edges wherever the edges are broken and just matching it with the surrounding color little dark so that you can see the rope little more prominent and now i am giving the detail so you can see those rope effect
the texture of the rope the twisted threads so i am giving uh, with my uh, zero number brush as i said though this is a very normal brush general brush you can get it anywhere but i like this brush a lot it's a very good brush so when you choose the brush it has uh, to it has to have a very nice tip at the end then uh, it works really well so this brush is having a very good tip at the point at the bristles so i am using it very nicely and i'm getting a beautiful result with that my rope is almost done so the front rope will look more prominent because this is front and as we are going up We are, we are looking far it will have a less detail because we can't see the details as we are seeing in the front row so on the front side we have to just give more detail and we can leave the back side row we have to give but not so much Here is one more smaller row. And I have to make the corner of the ship little more prominent because the corner of the ship has more colors and even the shape also it has to come little more on the right side. So I'm increasing the reflection, and now I'm writing the number on the ship. So um, on the ship, there is no any um, I mean artistic numbers written, uh, not any calligraphy numbers are written. So the way I'm seeing, I'm just following the same type of number, same type of letters. Those are there, and we are done. We are done with the number. We should put this remaining, and now we have to give the bottom part of the shape. and this is a tire reflection on the ship and on the water not reflection the shadow of the tire and we have to give a little metal effect on the bottom part and you can see how beautiful that metal effect came and i'm again using the cerulean blue color to give the blue effect because the water is surrounding so the reflected light will always be the bluish Now I'm just increasing the uh, reflection because the the tire reflection will also include with the ship reflection. So that's why I see I just uh, um, aligned the reflection with the tire line that is there on the right side. Yeah, now this is looking so better. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please press the like button and subscribe my channel. See it's so beautiful this painting. Here.